it explains more about like plants and animals and it goes into detail of each of them. We do shop projects, we do floriculture, we do animal science, we do soil science. So it's a variety of things that we have. We work with like power tools, we work with the animals. We go on uh, like animal judging field trips. You just can't be scared to get dirty because we go in the barn a lot and your shoes get dirty and you get all dusty from the uh, power tools. It's teaching me what medicine to give to animals if they're sick or how to fix, like heal them if they're hurt. So I need to know that. We've learned how to give medicine. We've learned how to identify different types of parasites. We do CDEs, which is where we identify different animals, different equipment, and we go and compete against other schools and other parishes. I want to go into accounting and become a CPA and so it prepares me for the field that I've chosen. So going into college I'm not blindsided by everything. I like math so it fits really well and it also prepares me for the future and helps me with my business. To be able to do my own taxes and keep track of how much money I spend and the budget and you learn a lot of different skills that you would never get otherwise. Just the little things that most people don't learn before you get into the real world. And so it teaches you the small things about just your business aspect of life that everybody needs to know. What I like most about this class is Miss Thornhill is so understanding about the grades and how to actually be a part of the future. I want a future in business management. This class prepares me by showing me everything I need to know about the business mass, about the business financials, like everything I need to know about it. We learn about taxes and business management, like how taxes affect the business and how other companies and corporations affect one business. I could tell if you're trying to get bigger into business management, not just work for another company, you should totally take this class to get into the higher business. We learn how to type envelopes, uh, resumes, type in general without looking at our hands and down at our keyboards. I'm hoping to be a software developer, so it would help with learning how to type on the computer correctly. They learn the keyboard, basic keyboarding, and then we teach them how to do letters, tables, resumes, how to apply for a job, the proper business attire. It's a great class to take. You will use these lessons and these typing skills for the rest of your life and it will majorly affect your future careers. In BCA, they learn to become more proficient with Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Uh, administrative assistants, executive assistants, um, office managers, uh, there's a wide range of different jobs. They're looking at between 30 and uh, 60,000 starting out. Oh, it's a 5.0 GPA class, so it's an easy grade booster and it's college credit. We get certified for PowerPoint, Microsoft Word, and Microsoft Excel. Focus on Multimedia, it's an introductory class. We look at just the basics of uh, using text, graphics, um, video, audio, and animation, and how those things can be used together um, using different pieces of technology. It teaches you how to apply programs and techniques to do what you need to do, like maybe if you want to be a graphic designer. I like doing projects, like we've done some, we made a tutorial video, we made some Photoshop projects. It's really fun. There's a little bit of book work, but like after that it's like all, all computers. Students are going to learn the basics of computer repair, uh, some basic networking. Uh, they're going to do a lot of hands-on, being able to take computers apart, put them back together, and, and diagnose and troubleshoot issues with computers. It's not just servicing computers. It has like, you know, gaming, game design, and we're eventually going to get into programming too. And this year I'm working on robotics and electronics. I'm learning how to build robots, like the ones behind me 
we're programming them. There's a lot of challenges uh, that come with this class that make it fun. In this class we learn how to film videos, edit them, use green screens, do news, cast. We learn how to edit in Adobe Premiere Pro. We also learn how to direct, film live, news stories. Well, I have some news for you. To other students, this class is really fun. Like, it's a really a good break from regular classes instead of just sitting at a desk, you're sitting in front of the computer, editing. It's a really a lot of hands-on activities. It's a really cool experience. I am taking your book because I would like to express myself and produce something the whole student body can enjoy. It's definitely going to help me make connections with people and like talk to people that I wouldn't know before. Well, one thing we've learned to do is to edit our photos for the yearbook because we want them to look nice and pretty for the yearbook, so we've learned how to use Photoshop. I enjoy the freedom the most because it allows me to do what I want without much restriction. In our newspaper class, we learned the ins and outs of how to write in journalistic style. This class will help me prepare for like college when I'm writing papers and also when I'm in like a job for like marketing or something, if I need to write something for my boss, that'll be really helpful. Writing will never go away. There will always be a need for people who have the ability to report and write, uh, take technical information and condense it and be able to write it in a way that people can understand. Do you learn the principles of photography? Um, I really like the projects we do. I feel like they kind of hit on skills. I know we do a lot of stuff with composition and just um, making your photos look professional and also artistic with a story. What I like most about this class is the editing. I really like kind of like the laid back aspect of it. Um, pretty much it's, um, it's hands-on, but also it gives you enough room to be creative. This class is really fun. It's a lot of work, but we do fun things. We've built a bridge in this class. We've built a robot and programmed it, and we're learning how to code video games right now. Since this modern era is so technologically advanced, then this will prepare you for a lot more jobs. Uh, I like that we do things that we don't do in other classes. It's very unique. This class is to introduce students to drafting related to engineering and architecture. And 90% of the drawing is done on AutoCAD, which is a CAD program, and that's computer-aided drafting. I'm taking this class because I'm looking into becoming an engineer, either civil, mechanical, or chemical, in which it would help all of them. We do floor plans, and we try to uh, incorporate specific uh, things into the, the houses, like rooms, bedrooms, just making it all work. It shows you what you would do like during the job site. During this class, they'll learn how to weld, uh, cut, all the skills they'll need to be a welder in the industry. We do a whole bunch of modules and kind of learn about the safety of welding and the industry and stuff like that. And then we come down here and we cut, and after we cut, we start, well, we got to cut our plates and grind them, and then we start welding. They get NCCR certifications, they get their core curriculum, and their hope is to get level one by the time they get out of here and move on to an another college to finish up their, their education. I'm taking this class to learn more about auto tech. Uh, rotate tires, balance them, change a the tire on the different rims, uh, brakes, change oil, stuff like that. A good class to get into if you want to look into it for career-wise. I like uh, that we're more hands-on. I'll be ahead of the game, and I'll know more than other people. You are certified to be a mechanic from this class, so that'd be good to look back on as an employer if I were hiring somebody to be a mechanic. I learned how to apply shingles to a shed, make dog houses, tables, chairs. I'm taking this class for the teacher and learning different life trait skills, how to build a dog shed, how to build basically anything with wood, really. It can lead to uh, civil, engineering, drafting, 
cabinet making, house making, commercial, journeyman, anywhere from $20 to $30 to $40 an hour, depending on the company they work for. Instruments that we use, there's electronics, there's flow, temperature, there's pressure, there's, I mean, all kinds of different things. I like how it's different than anything else we're doing. You know, it's more, it's more hands-on. It teaches us the basics that we need to know to go in towards Sewella, and it gives us an advantage over some people. Because once we get out of high, uh, college, we have to kind of fight for a job in this industry, and it just gives us like one step ahead of someone else. They learn uh, how instruments work. Uh, they learn the theories and uh, how they work uh, out in the, in the plants. You're gonna learn a bunch of stuff, like from electricity to uh, valves, safety, basic stuff in this class. Putting AC, DC electrical systems together. We learn about uh, personal protective equipment. We learn about the many different valves, pipes. The main purpose for this class is to teach you how to be an operator in uh, any one of the industries. It's a fun class. It's good to take now because you wanted to take it uh, for college and plus it's free, so. They can expect some of the best salaries in our area, that's for sure, because uh, starting out, uh, operators probably start somewhere in the neighborhood of $28 an hour. And I know a lot of guys now are making up to $42 to $45 an hour. It shows me what I need to know in life, how I can find out different stuff for different careers, and just the basics of what I need to know about income taxes and about basically what our parents do that we never knew they did, and like about different jobs and what we would be best at. If you if you're having trouble, like expecting what to happen, like in a job or like. If you're going to go to a job or something for like an interview, this class would help you with that. I'm taking JAG to better prepare myself for the future. I like JAG because it's a more hands-on class and it's non-practical, there's no rigorous testing. JAG prepares me for my future because it exposes us to different colleges and different guest speakers come and speak to us. In JAG we can get OSHA certified and we can also do customer service certification. JAG prepares you for the future and it explains to you what employers expect. The more I was in here, the more you learned really about, there's more things after school than you really could think about. What I learned is to help you with your health and how to have better customer service. It give you home skills teach you how to learn about utensils and stuff. i um, taking this class to help me with my life skills. What I like most about this class is we have friends and can socialize. It's a good class. I couldn't pass it up when I seen it. I recommend it if you like customer service and want to learn about health. We cook and we learn about the measuring tools and we watch cooking shows and we learn how other people cook. In the future I'll use this class to know what foods are healthy for me so that way I won't be unhealthy. The class is very helpful in learning how to cook but you also learn about what you're like the foods that you're preparing so it's very very informational. I really suggest taking this because you'll have a lot of fun and it's really good to eat your food after you cook it. We learn the value of the dollar for like when we're doing catering events, how to make our profits stretch. We do a lot of costing activities and budgeting activities. So even if you aren't going to culinary school, they're just good life skills to have. This class has taught me many skills in the culinary arts department, not just how to do knife cuts or how to fillet a fish. It's also taught me how the restaurant industry works behind the kitchen doors and in the management department as well. In the dev class, you focus more on the molecular level of things and cellular level. For deep, you learn everything about your human body, like everything that you thought you knew about your body in way more depth. 
I learned a lot about the cell and how it works and the functions and all that. And we also learned about diversity of life on Earth and we just do labs like it's just a normal science class. And this class is a lot of work, but it's definitely worth it. It's something that definitely pays off. You get lots of college credit. You get to do like a lot of different things that you would never have the opportunity to do, like dissecting a sheep brain and dissecting an eyeball and things like that. I'm taking this class because I want to become a nurse and I feel like this is a good way to start. It definitely teaches you responsibility and commitment. It teaches you to put other people's needs before yours. Kind of see how the hospital works. You know, we do CNA work, but we don't only get to see the CNA side of the part, but we get to see what the doctors do and what the nurses do. So just kind of see how the whole hospital scene works. We learn many different nursing skills from vital signs to bed baths, to showers, making beds. Students learn basic bony anatomy as well as muscular and ligamentous anatomy. Um, they're going to learn how to evaluate athletic injuries. Um, Sometimes we learn about like all the bones and the muscles and then we get to tape like the certain muscles and stuff on people like in our class. And this would be allied health based so it's going to be careers in that field. Um, physical therapy, athletic training, physicians, nurses, those kinds of uh, personnel. It's going to give them a good base to work with. I think in, in any career, in any career path, you're gonna you're gonna deal with people, and so I think this this allows you to kind of learn how to manipulate others' behaviors, also your your own behavior to uh, deal with other people. Uh, they learn about how the brain operates, and they learn how that can manipulate the behavior of themselves and others, and just their actions. I want to be a nurse in the future, so it prepares me to know about people's behaviors and why they act the way they do and the things that they do. Uh, I want to be a lawyer and it would help to know the human brain and how people work. In speech we learn how to break out of our comfort zones and to become better public speakers. First we start off with informal types of speeches, beginning to slowly get into formal speeches that would be more appropriate in a career. I think it's good because it trains you to speak in public and um, do your own research. We also introduce to debate and acting. It's going to help me by being more outspoken without getting nervous and that's what I really need in the future. What we do in class is we prepare students to be able to carry on basic interpersonal conversations uh, and as well as some uh, more advanced academic level language. It just helps me know more about my culture. We cover like uh, poetry. Uh, so one of the things I was most interested about or like most surprised that we talked about was like the historical context of pieces. It's going to be like something helpful like later down the road. So I think it's important to learn Spanish. We learn a lot of vocabulary and we learn how to speak to each other in French. We also learn about French culture. I like how it's different from any other elective, like everybody takes Spanish, but when you take French it puts you in a different position than everybody else. Learning a language helps develop many critical thinking skills. It also helps in using your own language as well. Students who take French often do better in English courses. This gives a lot of opportunities for me to go to college on scholarships. Also, expanding your vocabulary with different languages can help you in communication, which is very important in many fields. Most people, when they think art, they think just drawing, but it's a lot more than just drawing. You learn about shapes, shading, value, texture, all kinds of stuff. It's a really enjoyable class, especially if art is something you want to do for a job. And it's really fun. Art helps you learn to think outside the box when it comes to being creative. We learn how to play music as well as how to handle different types of music in different ways, different styles. We learn how to play music together as well as march together and in time while playing music and how to just blend with each other. 
Um, if you're thinking about taking band, I highly suggest it. It definitely prepares you for people skills and also it just shows you a new side of life. Students learn not only how to sing, but how to read music, how to perform. Um, they learn performance etiquette and proper singing technique. It'll help you with anything. It'll help you with piano, it'll help you with guitar, it'll help you with singing. It'll help you just with listening to things on the radio. You can participate in lots of different ensembles and choirs. 